Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Centurion's Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. I don't normally unpackage things that I just got in the mail. I usually take them out of the box and then do an unboxing. But this box is almost as heavy as War in the Pacific. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. I think it's a game a uh, manufacturer asked me to review. So let's open it up and see what's inside. I'm not 100% sure. I'm always ordering stuff, so... Oh, nice. Company of Heroes. This is, uh, I believe, based on a video game. It's good. Wow, that is a heavy box. I believe this has miniatures and stuff inside, so it should be lots of fun. Let's uh, see what it says on the back. The war has come to your table. This board game port captures the strategy, choices, and fun of the beloved video games. Players maneuver units from one of four fa factions to secure resource points, grow their economy, unlock buildings as well as purchase and upgrade new units. Players eventually unleash their team's powerful endgame forces to secure enough victory points in victory point mode or destroy the enemy's base in annihilation mode. So as you can play a turn-based or in real time, play how you want to with multiplayer modes, over a dozen maps, multiple scenarios, and victory objectives. The Company of Heroes board game is a unique mid-weight strategy game combining tactical squad combat with resource management. So as it supports two to four players for age 14 and up and takes an hour or two. Let's open this up. I want to see the minis inside. This is exciting. This looks like this will be fun. Alright, here's the basic rules. There are 18 pages, but there's not much writing on each page, so it shouldn't take too long to read the rules. Now here's what shows all the different minis that come with. Those look cool. Alright, so here... Looks like uh, the game is divided into rounds, and each round has three phases. You have a maneuver phase, a damage phase, and a supply phase. Here it's going into the move maneuver phase. And it's talking about your damage phase here and defenses. And how many victory points you get from combat. Yeah, this looks like this should be pretty easy to learn, which is good. Looks like you get experience points too. Nice. And here's advanced rules. Those are six pages. And the advanced rules, looks like it has a different maneuver phase. And damage types are uh, different in an advanced game and it's got special defenses and some additional combat rules and additional supply phase events. Sorry if you can hear my dog uh, barking. My wife just got home so she likes to bark whenever anyone enters the house. Alright, here's your mission book. I assume this is the scenarios. Looks like there's a terrain pack for this too. I'm not sure if it's included in this base game or that's something separate. We'll see as I go through this. Here's some of the scenarios. Nice. Lots of scenarios. This looks like this would be ideal for someone who likes to play Memoir 44 but is looking for something a little bit more, slightly more sophisticated with better miniatures. Here's caring for your new miniatures. Oh, these are nice player boards. Those are recessed and stuff. That's very good quality. I wish Euros, uh, well, some Euros do that. This is good stuff. All right, here's some more pieces. Here's 
Here's some cards. I'm not sure what those are for yet. I will know once I read the rules, though. These are commander cards. Okay. Let's take a look at some of the minis. And the minis have a nice little carrying case. This is very high quality. Yeah, those look good. For board game minis, those look really good. Here's some infantry over here, too. Here's the Russian stuff. Let's take a look at some of the Germans. Nice. These look like British, I believe. Yeah, British. Yeah, you got Bren Gun Harriers. So that's British. Oh, nice. It's got salt shakers. Those I haven't seen those in a board game in a while. Cool. I call them salt shakers. I think they're actually called uh, salt timers or something. Looks like it's got custom dice, and then uh, you have cubes here to mark stuff on your. Uh, on here, I would assume. Nice, nice, and some more minis there. And all the maps are mounted, which is good. Open this one up. Oh, it's two sided. You got another map on the other side. Nice. Hexes are nice and big. Running out of room here, but yeah, look how long it is. Cool. Ah, it folds out more. Yeah, very nice looking. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this will be reviewed pretty soon, probably within the next couple of weeks. This looks like it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun, too. Have a good evening.